This morning I was south of Atlanta and making an ALS hearing and one of my friends who's a trooper was there and he had had some family issues and he was trying to get, get out of the ALS hearing pretty quick and he was having some trouble because a lawyer who was supposed to be there um, had said that she wanted a conflict, she had a conflict that morning and was unavailable to actually come and do her hearing. She hadn't put in a letter um, but she said she told some other lawyer who was there that she had a conflict. The problem was that that lawyer had actually showed up at the hearing that morning, um, walked out, and went upstairs. Well, after the hearing was done, that, uh, that same lawyer I saw upstairs in the courtroom just sort of sitting around, not doing any sort of contested hearing at all. This was two floors above where it was that we were, and the problem is that that, that lawyer had not communicated whatsoever with the police officer. The police officer was really upset. This is a very small community, and the one thing that lawyers need to be very cognizant of is that if you jerk around someone today about your schedule and what's going on, that same officer is going to be the person that very near in the future, inevitably, you will be asking for a favor. Be very, very careful about how it is that you treat people here, because what you do one day is going to come back to bite you the next day. Be careful and be honest to them. All that you have to do is go to that officer even that morning, even if he had showed up and said, look, I came here despite the fact that I had all these sort of family concerns. I can assure that lawyer that the officer that she jerked around this morning would have been the first one to say, look, if you really want to reset, I don't have any trouble with that. But by virtue of treating him in a way that caused problems this morning and really sort of underhanded and circumvented the system, um, that will be the first lawyer that he'll be sure to remember in the future and be sure not to give that person any sort of favor. So just be careful in the way that you treat them. If you have any questions about the ALS process or just like to talk to me about different sort of practice issues, feel free to call me. My name is Ben Sessions. My office number is 478-254-2665 or 470-225-7710. Thank you.